It's Christmas Eve, and guess who's drinking? Enjoy some eggnog with Cindy and Jeffrey on Giga Water Chat. <laughs> Hello! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, Merry everybody! Merry Christmas, everybody! It's oh. Giggle Water Chat Christmas Edition, and I'm Cindy. And I'm Jeffrey. And this is Capote. And this is Stein. And Hello! We're, and we're all here on Christmas morning, uh, having a little eggnog, which we're going to tell you about Oh my God, bit. yes! I think I'll have a little <laughs> right now. I might even want to That might perk you up, Stein. Mm. Oh my God! <laughs> So we're going to tell you about my grandmother's um, eggnog in a bit, but let's let's talk about some Christmas things. Yes. Um, my since we're doing a cocktail, my favorite <laughs> Christmas bar in New York City is a place called uh, Miracle on Ninth Street, which all during the year is Mesa's Bar, but starting right about um, Thanksgiving, they decorate the entire place. With nothing, it, you walk in and you just, there's not a single inch of that bar that doesn't have something Christmassy on it. Um, there's a little Hanukkah place over in the back. They play a lot of Christmas music and they have fabulous Christmas cocktails. So if we ever get out of this pandemic and you're in New York City around Christmas time, make it a point to go to Miracle on Ninth Street. Uh, it's you will say I've just gone to Christmas heaven if you do that. <laughs> In fact, the socks I have on um, tonight are socks from from Miracle. Oh well, you know, Christmas was always the first, the one place that Mother would let us drink, <laughs> <laughs> and she always let us have mimosas when we were opening up our Christmas presents on Christmas morning. So we always. Would as we got older, we got really excited about that. <laughs> or when you were younger. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it was have to be after a certain time. When we got to be more adult. Well, I, I love the holiday season. And, um, and we wish all of you a very happy holiday season. And um, we hope you've enjoyed this year of Giggle Water Chat and are looking forward to a, another season coming up. But right now, why don't I go and we'll show you how to make my grandmother's eggnog. Oh my gosh, it is so good. <laughs> I can't wait for you to hear it. It's that. like eating ice cream <laughs> with bourbon in it. We, we'll see you in just a minute. Ah. Hello, happy holidays. Happy holidays to you. Here we are in this... Oh my gosh, we've been nipping at the bourbon already. So <laughs> let Cindy talk about her grandmother, her mother, her aunts, you know, wonderful, famous uh, eggnog. eggnog. Okay. So this is a recipe that was handed down from my family, from my grandmother and my great aunt. And uh, then my mother used to make it. So when I will call to say to mother, can I have the eggnog recipe? She'll be like, oh, you know, you just put an egg yolk and then whip up some cream and, and maybe a tablespoon of bourbon. And I'm like, so I They just, always leave out an ingredient, yeah. usually when that goes on. <laughs> I, I've sort of had to recreate the recipe that my grandmother and my great aunt had, but my parents owned a gift store. And uh, of course you knew we were busy around the holiday season. So on Christmas Eve every year, my great aunt would make this and she would bring it in a bowl that was about like this right around maybe an hour before closing time but that was the end of the day when she would bring this big bowl. Really? but I want you to picture my 80 something year old aunt um, getting in her probably 10 year old uh, Lincoln Continental with her fur coat on and driving through the drive through liquor store That's where and, you say, get it. and say give me a <laughs> bottle of Jack Daniels to make the, the eggnog so well, let's get to the recipe okay so the recipe um, I'm going to tell you how to make it for two, and then you can double it as many times as you want. So put two egg yolks and two tablespoons of sugar, and beat them with an egg beater until the sugar is dissolved and the it's kind of a you know light yellow color. Yeah, this is not like anything you buy like in a Borden's this is, carton. No, and then take the two egg whites which are left from the egg yolks, and beat them until they stand in stiff peaks, and it'll take you a little bit of time. And then, for this, I used two cups of whipping cream that I whipped, you know, until it was whipping. Then add, I added two 
uh, two jiggers of bourbon. Elijah Craig. So I put the bourbon into the egg yolk mixture and kind of um, stirred that up. Then put the egg whites over into the egg yolk mixer and then blend in the um, the whipped cream. So a lot that's, of work involved. It's just a little time consuming. But let's, so that's the recipe from my uh, grandmother and my great aunt. Why don't you dip some up, Jeffrey? Okay, you know, and see, it doesn't look like it's so it's like oh, it's, it's like ice cream. It's, it is so <laughs> light and beautiful. I'll just I'll help you with that. Do that. <laughs> and then sprinkle a little bit of um, um, nutmeg on the top just to make it pretty. <laughs> there you go. Oh. And that's Cindy's grandmother. You almost have to eat it with the spoon because it it's spoon. so thick. Let's try it out and see how it tastes. That's really, really good. That Elijah Craig is really and good. And I put taste. more than the tablespoon of bourbon that my mother said. So I, she always said my aunt stumped her toe when she got a little too much bourbon. Shout out to our mothers. Yeah, let's shout out to your mother. Yes, my mother passed away on the 23rd of December. So every every December comes around, we always talk about how I have another angel up there looking at me. So, so this is for Charlotte and this is for you. Happy holidays, everybody. Please remember to subscribe and like us on YouTube. I'm glad you said that. And, and we love you. <laughs> mm. Hope you enjoyed that. It looked great to me. Visit us every Wednesday for new episodes of Giga Water Chat. And visit us at gigawaterchat.com.